Hey guys, so I just thought I'd pop in real quick and show you what I've been up to. I've been a busy, busy bee, but you can't really tell. Oh, but something exciting. It is alive, if you remember from the first video that I posted. This was the firebush that I wasn't sure had survived, even though it was green in there when I snapped it off. Um, but I, I thought that this was dead. However... I look down here, and it's alive! So those are the color I can tell by the leaves, and it'll get much more red than that. But it is alive, so it's coming back. I'm going to have to cut that back a little further. i got a little shrimp plant here, and I still need to cut back this angel trumpet. But in here, I've got some gladiola bulbs in between the daylilies, and I noticed that some came back up when I was putting some seeds in here. That's actually a gladiola. So some of these came back up from last year. And so in here, I've got some of the skyscraper um sunflowers, some of the American hybrid sunflowers, and then I've got some, uh, just kind of a mix of different sunflowers all in there. So that'll be a mix of sunflowers, gladiolas, daylilies. That'd be real pretty. And I threw some, uh, sunflower seeds back in here along the fence line just to see what happens. So we'll see if we can get some of those to pop up, but where I really did the work from the front yard and I'll tell you it work make sure that's closed okay so got the driveway oh, what a gorgeous day to ride so we've got oh cool look there got the sidewalks all done and the driveway edged. Now this was some work. I have to give it, hand it to the hubs for doing this because I got, <laughs> I did the sides of the driveway and about these two blocks right there and I thought I was going to die. And that my arms were going to fall off. So bless this man. He did all the sidewalk to here and then all the way down that way to the end of the property line so he's a good man and this is what I put in here at the end some of the little plants that we got from holidays I did stick a bunch of gladiolas in there and then I threw a couple of packs of the low-growing um, wildflowers in there so we'll see what happens and then up here All down this row, all along here and along the house, I threw three different packs of wildflower seeds, so those will grow all along the side of the house. And then along this side that gets blasted with sun all day, I put the um, mammoths, the American hybrid mammoths, the skyscrapers, and then a bunch of uh, the assorted mix of sunflowers. So that'll all be sunflowers. And then I threw a bunch of the assorted mix in here. Um, but none of the giants those end at the corner just so you can still see actually i think i put maybe a couple around here in front of the window and then where that lattice is i decided to leave that there and i threw in some moonflower and morning glory seeds and i think i tossed in a couple more extra gladiolas that i had in here somewhere and i threw down the carpet of snow seeds but i need to get some more dirt to cover them and i think i need a couple of more packets so those are in there these got these at holidays as well that's some of what we went and got the other day 
these were actually in the flower pots um this one and that one that are supposed to be annuals and i got these last spring so like i said benefit of living in florida is sometimes annuals turn into perennials so and i can't wait for the rest of this to fill in that'll look great and we've got these here my hubby put the uh, holes in the bottom so they are draining very well now and so i've got these and i put my moonflower and morning glory seeds in here so hopefully they will climb up the side and i'll have to really watch how those climb so it doesn't just become a big old tangled mess um, back here i stuck the jasmine hey little lizards so we'll see if this jasmine will grow up the back side of this since that one still looked alive the other one that didn't look happy i stuck back here so it would get more sun but it doesn't look very you can't see the shade anyway but it doesn't look very happy um these are the pots that i took those little flowers out of that were supposed to be annuals and then over here in front of the house did a lot of work. I actually had these little uh, fence things at our old house and I ripped them up out of the... Thank you! <laughs> Neighbors tell me it looks nice. Um, uh, I had these little white uh, fences at the old house bordering a flower bed in the backyard and I ripped them up. Wasn't sure if I'd ever use them again and I popped them in just to see how it would look and I think I kind of like it. And then in here... I put, let me get to where you can kind of see it better, um, uh, where that dirt is, I put some like pastel wildflowers, so I just threw a couple packs of seeds in there and we'll see what happens. And then here, I've got this, it's the orchid, and in here, so... The, these bigger pots had some bulbs in them. I wasn't real sure if they had survived. So I dug in there and I found where the, the roots or the bulb was. So I've got this one and then two other ones back over by the swing that I stuck in the dirt that were canna lilies. And I'm going to see if they come back. I'm not sure. But you can tell, I mean, the bulb was still there. It didn't look very happy. But what the hell, we'll just stick it in some dirt, give it some water. And if it grows, awesome. If it doesn't, whatever. So I picked this up yesterday, another canna, this is a scarlet, and so I like the different color of the leaves there, and that'll have a beautiful red flower. And then this is the um, Birds of Paradise, the orange one that I already had up here, and this was the one, the white Birds of Paradise, that was in the small bucket that had been on the porch that didn't look happy and still doesn't look happy but i put it up here where the happy one is and we'll see if we can get it to spring back to life looking like it's a little sad right now that's all right we can fix that i also tossed some seeds some moonflower and morning glory seeds in those buckets so we'll see if those grow and kind of hang down a little experiment and I also got more of those seeds over here to climb this. So I've got some moonflower and morning glory seeds in there as well. And I think the reason this doesn't have any of the fresh uh, topsoil on it is because I'm going to get a couple more packets of the uh, carpet of snow, I think. And I'm going to toss those in here because they don't get very tall, but I'd like to have something bordering this. So this is the closest that you'll get to see me landscape, I guess, anything with any kind of sense. Other than that, it's just tossing seeds in and see what happens. But otherwise, it's been a busy couple of days. Everything hurts. But I am super excited to see how everything pops up. And I'm really excited to see if I can grow a 16-foot sunflower. So stay tuned. We will keep you updated on all of the growth that we have. Now it's time to give everything a drink. Take a shower. Stay tuned.